In this uh, second part of running a program or running a process to be more technical from a C-sharp program, we're going to look at how to get a lot more control over the process we're running using another class called Process Start Info. And I use Process Start Info all the time, but I never, uh, I never really use it with any attributes other than window style, working directory, and arguments, which I find three really useful uh, attributes. But in fact, there's a ton of attributes for, that you can do a ton of different things if you want to run all kinds of interesting processes in interesting ways. And I have a comprehensive list of what these uh, uh, processes are, or attributes are, for process start info. And I'll put these in a comment in the, the code section in the library tab on my website. So you don't have to memorize them or anything. Although you can get them by just pressing the dot and seeing what options you have in the auto fill in. Well, once again, start with a program and a run button. And if I double click on the run button and go to the run button uh, handler, first thing we need to do is put in a use for uh, oh, using for the system dot uh, diagnostics, which is kind of strangely named for process and process start info, but that's what it is. And then we need to have a process dot info or process start info object. There we go. And just call it start info. And then to run a program like the programs we've been uh, running so far, which is like a browser with a specified web page and so on, I'll just uh, quickly type in the code. Oh, that may have been too fast. I hope I didn't reveal my secret identity there. But basically this has uh, the start info structure instantiated as a new process start info. And as a parameter we pass the uh, executable we want to be uh, executed in the process start start. So this is like the first parameter of the process dot start in our previous video. And then I use the window style to say process window style dot normal, which is the neither minimized nor maximized. And actually a fourth option on that is hidden. And then I set a working directory, which is useful if you're running a process where you want to save files and or access files, because it'll look in that directory first. This is one of the most useful attributes that I use all the time. And then the arguments is like the second parameter in the process.start we looked at in the, uh, the previous video. So this is not only going to start Chrome, Google Chrome, but it's going to start it using this HTML file uh, to be loaded in. And then instead of passing one or two arguments the way we did in the previous video, we just pass, pass the start info structure to process.start. Start. So if we compile and run this, see it brings up the browser in my uh, standard HTML file. Actually come up in this anyhow since it's specified as the home. But trust me, we're doing it with the arguments. But if you want to do something more interesting with the start info control, you can use the start info attribute create no window and set it to true and then use the start info attribute use shell execute and set it to true and this basically says you want to run the program in the DOS box and it'll actually bring up a DOS box to run the program and then using the file name rather than the arguments specify the file you want to run in this case fully qualified since it's not on the system path 
and then once again use the process.start and pass the start info structure as a single parameter. So if we uh, compile or save and compile and run this, see a DOS box comes up with the message hello world and maybe we should set the font a little bigger so we can actually see that. There we go. Hello world. And then I have a, a command waiting for a key press so this window just doesn't pop up and disappear. So I'll press a key and then have it go away. And I think that's basically it. As I say, there's a ton of parameters and I'll put them as a comment in the source code if you want to experiment with it. But basically the three parameters I ever use are the window style, the working directory, and the arguments. And I use them all the time. They're very useful. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and learned a lot. And I'd appreciate it if you subscribe.